for asking me. I'm saying that the identity of an individual whose picture has been taken carrying the Nazi flag in public by someone in the public and posted online, the identity of that person, who he is, is not protected by national security law, is it? I have no idea of the, if you're talking about a hypothetical or if you're talking about a real uh, example, I mean, this is a, a completely okay. abstract so, question. Mr. Clerk, if you could bring up the one document, please. Yeah, just for record, it's POE HRF. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So this is the individual I'm talking about. It was all over the news. And we've been trying to figure out who he is, and we think we have. Now, again, in looking at this picture, it was posted online, it was in the news, everywhere. And when I asked the director of CSIS about his identity, he didn't say he didn't know. He invoked national security law. But I take it you know, as a former prosecutor with the Public Prosecution Services Canada in the realm of national security law, that the identity of this man carrying the Nazi flag in public, who is photographed in public, is not protected by any form of national security law or other evidential protection. You know that. Mr. Commissioner, I have an objection to state with respect to the nature of this questioning. In my submission, the placing of this photograph again before the witness in light of the evidence given to date is an abuse of the process of the public hearing process and that the purpose of my friend putting this document up on the screen is not a good faith purpose. It is apparently for the purpose of asserting claims in order to associate them with the credibility of this public hearing process and distract from the fact finding process that the important work of this inquiry surrounds. In my submission, there needs to be a good faith basis for the questions put to the witnesses. And this is a further example of what my friend is seeking to do that is not directed to the fact finding process of this inquiry respectfully, but to uh, injecting this photograph and other documents into uh, the public light so that they may be commented on taking advantage of the privileged forum in which my friend is speaking and making assertions to which witnesses repeatedly have had no evidence to give and there could be no reasonable expectation that they and, would have relevant and sir, evidence to give uh, of response. course we we filed an affidavit uh, i'd asked to finish my case. objection which i'm almost complete in my submission the commission must respectfully insist that participation be conducted in good faith by those who have been given the right of audience in the form of full party standing and for whom public funding has been recommended for the purposes of enabling their participation to serve the objects of the commission and their clients interests I object to this line of questioning. Okay. Yes. Sir, as you know, uh, we filed an affidavit uh, from an individual who identified this man. And the man is Mr. Brian Fox, according to that affidavit. He met him when he was doing, that photo was taken around the same time. He talked to him. He's been identified. There's an application before this commission to call Mr. Fox, as well as to allow our witness, Mr. Sean Folks, to testify. And it is clear, frankly, from the lack of answer and from the objection, that the witness here needs to answer this question. And subject to any questions, sir, those are my submissions. Okay, well, just going back, I think I suspect you may be functioning under a misapprehension with respect to the testimony of uh, Mr. Vigneault, but that's a different issue which we can get back to because I I don't, I think uh, you, you've you misunderstood his answer. So that's something which maybe could be cleared up. With respect to the question, I'll let you continue this. However, the outstanding <coughs> motion that you've referred to has not been ruled on and the evidence that you're proposing to tender is not in the public record. So that is not uh, an appropriate, uh, if you like, a, a, an appropriate well, representation I, I, at this stage. So, uh, but I'll let you ask the question. I have, uh, I, I, because of uh, the outstanding motion at the moment. Right, so sir, now again, I take it, you know, 
as a former prosecutor with Public Prosecution Services Canada in the realm of national security law, that the identity of that hey, man... Can I just I interrupt you? If yeah. you could just read what the question was to Mr. Vigneault again. Question, right. Are you aware of a company called Enterprise Canada? Mr. Vigneault, not specifically, no. Question, and have you identified the individual, the one that is there, he was all over the news, the gentleman that was carrying the Nazi flag? Have you identified him yet? Mr. Commissioner, as I said before, we, the specific details of our investigation have been shared, you know, with the commission earlier. I would not be able to go into more specific details. And then I tried to get him to identify that it was the individual um, and I was cut off. Yeah, so I, I just want to, at my understanding to try and assist <clears throat> is that CSIS will neither confirm or deny that they're investigating that because that's all secret. So what he's answering there is not a refusal to identify, not a refusal to answer. It's because their job is to do investigations. They do not answer those questions. That's my understanding. So I just want to clear that up. Yeah. So it isn't that Mr. Vigneault was trying to... No. So, okay. so I think for the record that's important and it may assist you. Now, I don't know if Commission Council wants to add or whether I've misstated it. Okay. Uh, it to assist Mr. Miller, uh, and as someone who's encountered over about 30 years, similar refusals to answer questions on the basis of national security. I sympathize with his plight, but it is exactly as you described, Mr. Commissioner, uh, the representative of CSIS or, or another uh, national security officer is typically saying, I refuse to admit or deny, I refuse to acknowledge or disclaim, et cetera. They're not saying one way or another. They're just saying that as a matter of national security, they can't take a position on it. Okay. And so if I may ask my question. Now I take it that you know as a former prosecutor with Public Prosecution Services Canada in the realm of national security law that the identity of the man that was in the photo carrying a flag in public is a photograph in public and is not protected by any form of national security law or other evidential protection. You're aware of that. I, I have no idea what this photo is who the person depicted in that photo is, or any of the other uh, circumstances. I, this is the first time I have seen this photo produced. You're aware and you know that Mr. Brian Fox was the individual who was walking around in downtown Ottawa carrying a Nazi flag on January 29th, 2022, don't you? No. Now, are you aware that Freedom Corp, and you've already heard, has applied uh, to have Mr. Fox testify? In, in, in the commission here? Is yes. that where the application is? I am, I am not aware of that. Okay. And uh, you're aware of the company Enterprise Group, is that right? I, I believe I, I have heard of it. Enterprise Canada? Yes. And they do work for the Liberal Party of Canada, is that right? I, I do not know. You don't know. They, no. Weren't they working for the Liberal Party of Canada and political staffers and staff in January and February of 2022? I don't know. And I take it you know who local Ottawa freelance photographer David Chan is? No. You don't know that David Chan was the official photographer for the Prime Minister, Paul Martin? You didn't know that? No, I don't know this individual. And you didn't know that Paul Chan still does freelance work for the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Trudeau? I, again, I'm... Okay. And you're not aware that Mr. Chan was the individual who took the photos of the, the person with carrying the Confederate yeah, flag? You put uh, it as a question. Uh, yes. You're, you're make, trying sure. to make all kinds of okay. statements that are of no assistance to okay. the commission so or I'll, to this witness. I will just ask, uh, so are you aware that Katie Telford, the chief of staff for the prime minister, has a relationship with Enterprise Group and their staff? No, I am not aware. Okay. And... I just want to talk.